Hello students, this is Mrs. Miller, and the purpose of this PowerPoint is to introduce you to Point of View. First, let's talk about what Point of View is. Point of View is the way the narrator tells the story so that the reader can see, hear, and know what is happening. When reading, the narrator has to tell the reader what he or she sees, hears, and knows so that the reader knows what is happening in the story. Let's read this scenario. Mama was in the bathroom getting ready for work when she heard some chatter coming from Naomi's bedroom. She walked into her daughter's room and was astonished to see that Naomi had managed to get her book from the shelf, climb into the white rocking chair, and was reading. After reading for a moment, Naomi paused and began singing. Mama marveled at the sight of her sweet baby girl practicing what they had done countless times before. Now let's examine first person point of view. In first person point of view, a character in the story tells the reader what he or she sees, hears, and knows. The character uses personal pronouns such as I, me, my, mine, and myself when referring to him or herself. The reader is given an inside look into the thoughts, feelings, and opinions of this particular character. The reader sees, hears, and knows everything this character sees, hears, and knows. Here is a visual representation to help you remember that first person point of view is when a character in the story is telling the story. I heard some chatter coming from my be daughter's bedroom. I wondered what she was doing in there while I was getting ready for work. I was surprised to see that she had taken her book out of the bookcase, climbed into the white rocking chair, and was reading. Da da sha o la ga, she happily read. I was thrilled to see her doing what we did together each evening. After a moment of reading, she started rocking in the chair and singing. I listened to her sweet angelic voice and marveled at the beauty and intelligence of my child. Now, we can think about what the narrator was able to see. The narrator saw her daughter sitting in the rocking chair reading her book. What did the narrator hear? The narrator heard her daughter jabbering away as she read the book and sang. What did the narrator think? The narrator thought that her daughter had a sweet, angelic voice, was beautiful and intelligent. A mom is the narrator because she is the character in the story who is telling the story. Let's examine second person point of view. In second person point of view, the narrator is talking directly to you. The narrator tells you what you did, what you thought, and how you felt. You are the main character in the story. You heard some chatter coming from your daughter's bedroom. You wondered what she was doing in there while you were getting ready for work. You were surprised to see that she had taken her book out of her bookcase, climbed into the white rocking chair, and was reading. Da da sha o la ga, she happily read. You were thrilled to see her doing what you did together each evening. 
after a moment of reading she started rocking in the chair and singing you listened to her sweet angelic voice and marveled at the beauty and intelligence of your child let's think about what the narrator saw the narrator saw your daughter sitting in the rocking chair reading her book what did the narrator hear the narrator heard your daughter jabbering away as she read the book and sang what did the narrator know the narrator knew that you think that your daughter has a sweet angelic voice is beautiful and intelligent remember in second person point of view you are the main character let's examine third person point of view in third person point of view the narrator is outside of the story the narrator looks into the story and tells the reader what he or she sees hears and knows the narrator refers to the characters by name the narrator also uses pronouns such as he she him her them and they to refer to the characters the narrator may be limited to knowing the thoughts feelings and opinions of one character or the narrator may be all-knowing omniscient and have access to the thoughts feelings and opinions of multiple characters let's examine third person point of view in third person point of view we have an outside narrator who looks into the story and tells the reader what the characters say do hear and think let's examine our same scenario from earlier from the point of view of a third person narrator mrs. Miller heard some chatter coming from her daughter's bedroom she wondered what Naomi was doing in there while she was getting ready for work mrs. Miller was surprised to see that Naomi had taken her book out of the bookcase climbed into the white rocking chair and was reading da da sha oh la ga she happily read mrs. Miller was thrilled to see her doing what they did together each evening after a moment of reading Naomi started rocking in the chair and singing mrs. Miller listened to her sweet angelic voice and marveled at the beauty and intelligence of her child what did the narrator see the narrator saw mrs. Miller watching Naomi and Naomi sitting in the white rocking chair reading her book what did the narrator hear the narrator heard Naomi reading and singing what did the narrator know the narrator knew that mrs. Miller was surprised to see that her daughter had gotten her book and climbed into the rocking chair the narrator also knew that mrs. Miller was thrilled to see Naomi doing what they did together each evening and finally the narrator knew that mrs. Miller thinks that her daughter has a sweet angelic voice and is beautiful and intelligent let's talk about third-person limited narrator with the third person limited narrator the narrator tells the story and he or she knows the thoughts and feelings and opinions of just one character this is a limited narrator here's a visual representation to help you remember a limited narrator let's examine a scenario from the point of view of a limited narrator the students listened attentively as mrs. Miller taught them about point of view Ben was really confused 
he wondered how he was going to be able to tell the difference between third-person limited and third-person omniscient points of view. Whenever Mrs. Miller would ask a question about point of view, it seemed that Dominique always raised her hand. Ben secretly hoped that she would help him understand point of view a little better. He knew that they would have an assessment over point of view soon, and he really wanted to do well. Suddenly, Ben realized the room was quiet and everyone was looking at him. Ben, Mrs. Miller said softly, can you tell the class if the passage is written from the point of view of a limited narrator or an omniscient narrator? Um, I'm not 100% sure, Ben responded. As usual, Dominique's hand was flapping in the air. Ben felt like a total loser. Dominique, Mrs. Miller called. Limited, because the narrator knows the thoughts of one character, she proudly answered. Let's examine what the narrator saw. The narrator saw all of the students listening to a teacher, everyone looking at Ben, and Dominique's hand flapping in the air. What did the narrator hear? The narrator heard the room go silent, the teacher asked Ben a question, Ben's response, the teacher call on Dominique, and Dominique's response. Now let's examine what the narrator knew. The narrator knew that Ben was confused about point of view and didn't know how he would understand the difference. The narrator did not know the thoughts of any other characters, only the thoughts of Ben. The narrator knew that Ben hoped that Dominique would help him understand point of view. The narrator also knew that Ben knew they would have an assessment. And finally, the narrator knew that Ben felt like a total loser. Now let's look at third person omniscient narrator. With a third person omniscient narrator, as the narrator tells the story, he or she may know the thoughts, feelings, and opinions of multiple characters. This is an omniscient narrator. Let's examine our same scenario from the point of view of an omniscient narrator. The students listened attentively as Mrs. Miller taught them about point of view. Ben was really confused. He wondered how he was going to be able to tell the difference between third-person limited and third-person omniscient points of view. Whenever Mrs. Miller would ask a question about point of view, it seemed that Dominique always raised her hand. She had learned about point of view the previous year and was confident in her ability to tell the difference between the two. She secretly hoped that Ben would notice that she understood point of view and ask her to help him with it since she had a crush on him. Suddenly, Ben realized the room was quiet and everyone was looking at him. Ben, Mrs. Miller said softly, can you tell the class if the passage is written from the point of view of a limited narrator or an omniscient narrator? Mrs. Miller was trying not to show the annoyance she felt since once again, Ben didn't seem to be paying attention. She wondered what she would have to do to help Ben better understand point of view. Um, I'm not 100% sure, Ben responded. As usual, Dominique's hand was waving in the air. Ben felt like a total loser. He couldn't understand why Dominique always got the right answers, but he could never understand anything. Let's think about what the narrator saw. Once again, the narrator saw all of the students listening to a teacher. The narrator saw everyone look at Ben and Dominique's hand flapping in the air. What did the narrator hear? The narrator heard the room go silent, the teacher asked Ben a question, Ben's response, and the teacher call on Dominique. Now let's examine what the narrator knew. This is where we're going to see the difference between a limited point of view and an omniscient point of view. 
the narrator knew that ben was confused about point of view and didn't know how he would understand the difference in this scenario the narrator knew that dominique hoped that ben would notice her and ask for help because she had a crush on him the narrator knew that mrs miller felt annoyed because ben didn't know the answers Now, let's move on to objective point of view. In an objective point of view, the narrator simply states what is happening without including any personal opinions or views. The narrator is a fly on the wall and relays his or her observations to the reader. The narrator is unbiased. Let's examine this news story. Donald Sterling, current owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, was forced out of his office and is being prompted to sell the team after making racist remarks. He has been fined $2.5 million and has been given a lifetime ban. He is no longer allowed to attend NBA games, go into any Clippers facility, or take part in the decision-making process for the team. Former NBA All-Star and current mayor of Sacramento, Kevin Johnson, stated, I hope that every bigot in this country sees what happened to Mr. Sterling and recognizes that if he can fall, so can you. Let's talk about what the narrator knew. The narrator knew Donald Sterling's consequence for his actions. The narrator also knew Kevin Johnson's remark about Sterling's consequence. There are some specific things that the narrator did not know. The narrator did not know what Donald Sterling was thinking when he made the remark. The narrator did not know how Sterling felt about his consequence. Now let's take a look at subjective point of view. In subjective point of view, the narrator states what is happening and also includes his or her personal views and opinions. The narrator takes sides and the reader can determine how the narrator feels about the topic based on the words used. Let's examine that same news story from the point of view of a subjective narrator. Donald Sterling current owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, was justly forced out of his office and should sell the team after making some ignorantly racist remarks. He got what he deserved when he was fined $2.5 million and given a lifetime ban from attending NBA games, going into the Clippers facility, and making decisions about the team. His disgusting comments have the NBA in an outrage. Former NBA All-Star and current mayor of Sacramento, Kevin Johnson, stated, I hope that every bigot in this country sees what happened to Mr. Sterling and recognizes that if he can fall, so can you. Michael Jordan said, I am appalled that this type of ignorance still exists within our country. These wise men know what they are talking about. Let's examine what the narrator knew. Once again, the narrator knew Donald Sterling's consequence for his actions. The narrator also knew Kevin Johnson and Michael Jordan's remarks about Sterling's consequence. And now let's talk about how the narrator felt. This is the narrator's opinions and personal views, and this is what makes a subjective narrator different than an objective narrator. The narrator was angry about the comments Donald Sterling made. I know that because the narrator called the comments disgusting and ignorantly racist. The narrator was satisfied with the consequence because the narrator stated that he got what he deserved, was justly forced out, and should sell the team. And finally, the narrator was in agreement with Johnson and Jordan the narrator stated, these wise men know what they are talking about.